Oh, Egypt has no allies and no trade deal to me. Don't mind if I just declare war on you. All I'm doing is sending a very, very tiny raiding party your way. Like, it's so cute. I wouldn't even worry about it. Just one, two, there we go. Now we can land. Perfect stuff. Smart materials has been boosted now. Perfect. So once you've got smart materials, the next project is always the second to last one. So just kind of click on that and just go. That's a route down to Mapuche now. Perfect. Seasteads boosted. This is the thing. You can boost all of the techs that normally you can't boost. So that's quite entertaining. I don't think I can trade with Australia yet there. Yeah, I'm just still trying to find the route between the cities and Indonesia, actually, to be fair. But I should be able to do that pretty soon. I've got, I've got some decent routes uh, available. One more spaceport as well, just sort of prayed into existence. Ah, yes. Perfect. Moksha, go find another forest. We are going to be doing a lot of chopping. Portland, Here is the map. Sydney. I'm going to meet a lot the of wonders now. A lot of stuff I hadn't done before. Oh my Nef goodness. I really had not done much exploring on this map. Holy moly, there's the Earth satellite. Okay, let's check in with the game and just see who's doing the best. Because, I mean, clearly I'm doing the best. But who else is doing relatively decently? Indonesia is doing pretty decently, actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, Japan have done well to claim the actual island of Japan, which I'm fairly impressed with, but they haven't really done much else, have they? Um, Maori's tiny, tiny little islands sort of in random places. I, I, I do like what they do. Their game is pretty strong on this one. Incans have dominated South America. Massively so. They've really, really pushed in. You can see they've taken Brazilian cities, Mapuche cities. England is wonderfully, you know, taking parts of Europe. I feel like... I'm the only person that's kind of stopped them from having a semi-decent game, actually. It's a shame. Shame for them. You've also got Canada's done okay, the Cree's done okay. No one else has really taken off. Australia hasn't left the continent. Uh, yeah, I think, honestly, apart from myself, who I'm just a... <laughs> I'm always the good news story in any game I play. <laughs> but uh, apart from that, I think, like, yeah, we've done okay. Still pillaging, by the way. I'm just taking all the stuff from Vietnam. Just pillaging away. Anom, 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 anom. Oh, we're getting like three techs per turn at the moment or something crazy. Let's just take these cities. I've kind of pillaged everything I need to there. Great. I think, being honest, that's all of the land that I need. I wasn't really going to do too much more. Vietnam, I might just make peace with, although I need to take Hugh, actually. That is a city that I need to take. Okay, so we'll, we'll go and take this one. I might be wrong, but I don't think I've got a trade route with Coupe. Nope, there's Offworld Mission boosted. Oh, I think I've... Oh no, I can't boost these ones because they're unrevealed. Oh, that's intriguing. So you have to reveal a tech before you can boost it. Really? I didn't know that. That feels like something that shouldn't be a thing, but okay, never mind. Okay, we're boosting, boosting, boosting. Moon landing, 10 turns, oh my goodness. That's taken a while. Yeah, I need to, <laughs> I need some great people. Oh, go on then, we can have peace. That's fine, there's literally nothing to take now. Uh, mm. Apart from, oh, actually, I say that, that little city there. Hugh. I mean, it will rebel in three turns, but maybe I should have taken that city first. I don't know. I really am enjoying just how big my empire is on this map. Oh, what a horde. What a horde. I mean... And I have to say, even though my empire is doing amazingly, watching England do its thing as well, really enjoying that. I just almost want to now see Portugal just like really, really capitulate into like a dark age and just watch it fall to England. That would be so much fun. Off world mission done. Nice. Well, there we go. That's pretty, pretty cool. Actually, we didn't need any of the extra stuff. I might as well just pick all that up now. It's all boosted. It's all ready to go. And then we'll go future tech. Nice. Mary Leakey gives me science, but I don't need her. I'm just going to pass on her and wait for something. Someone like Goddard. There we go. Look at that. 20% production towards space race projects by him immediately. Perfect. Tesla's not as interesting. I, I mean, he's okay, but he's not what I'm going for here. Oh, stealth tech. That's always good fun. I mean, bombers. Bombers are good. Bombers are fun. But you know what's more fun? Jet bombers. The extra visibility alone makes these things worth it infinitely more. Oh, God, I just took two turns off the moon landing. That is such a good passive bonus. Oh, and I've got minus 10% from immunities as well. 
I, I need to fix that. I need to fix that. I need to fix that a lot. Hang on, do I have enough faith to buy another spaceport? Yes, I do. Lovely. I've got quite a few now. I have one, two, three, four, five spaceports. I think that's probably going to be enough. So, what I shall do is treat myself to maybe this. Yeah, let's go bring it down to that city and I can put myself... So, uh, you know, like a few things that are going to give some more immunities to things in the area. Oh, sorry, I just... Oh, Pinkala just got removed from my city for nine turns. Nine turns! That is appalling. Oh. Alright, fine. Well, that just added another two... Oh, even more than two turns to this city. Oh, my goodness. That's horrendous how much that cost me. Okay, well, there we go. That's, um... That's something. And with this city, that is my empire now officially complete. I own everything that the Mongol Empire did at its height. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Six turns until moon landing. I've got a bunch more traders now that are going to be just just bulleting into my capital. I'm, oh, it should be good. Sparta. Sparta's mine. That was loyalty. I didn't do that. It wasn't me. I promise. I'm taking my no conquering to heart though, so what I'm doing is I'm basically just like reducing all of Egypt's cities to zero in the hope <laughs> in the hope that they can I can just continue pillaging them and like there's nothing they can do about it, which is which is proving pretty pretty good so far. I might see if I can just Hmm I wonder. I wonder, could I just like mess around with this continent a little bit? Like, could I? Could I, could I, could I? Could I take someone like the Congo and be like, hey, do you want to join in with this war? Come get their cities, Congo. They've all got zero health. Oh, man. How much can I mess around here? You know what? Just for fun as well. Just because I really want England to just be just doing England things. I'm going to, um, I mean, I've stolen a lot of great work from everyone. Do you want it? How? Why don't you just have all of it? Have all of this great stuff. I mean, I'm not okay, right? They're not going to be able to take all of it. Fine, fine. But like, I mean, you should. I mean, there we go. That's that's everything. Why don't you just take that and see? Let's see what they do with it. Eh? I want to see what a full court of love is going to do. Um, I'm sorry. What? They declared war on me. I just gave you loads of stuff. Oh my god, Japan! Japan just declared on me. Oh, that's mean. I was your ally for this whole game, Japan. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, now. I had a lot of very bored bombers that were doing nothing. And, um, they will be doing nothing for not much longer, let me tell you. Oh, Japan actually has 30 military strength at the moment. And, uh, England has 72 military strength. So, there we go. That's crazy. Um, are they taking... Yep, now they're taking a Norwegian city's loyalty. Um, Amsterdam, unfortunately, is beginning to fall now, which is a little unfortunate. Um, as is Timbuktu. Oh, okay. I really I really hoped that more would happen than that, but uh, that, that's about it. Okay. Well, there we go. Tell you what, Egypt, I'll let you off the hook now. You can, you can be off the hook. There it is. Moon landing is gone. It's away. It is out of there, which is fantastic, which Even means a few things. I get also future tech. Optimization team. imperative gets rushed through because you get a huge culture boost from all of that, which is lovely. Now, synthetic technocrancy means that you get 30% production towards city projects as well as extra power. Integrated space cell being a pretty cool one as well. So, I mean, all of this is pretty damn good. Mars Colony in five turns, you say? Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I seem to have taken Stockholm. I mean, these loyalty changes are hilarious. Like, I haven't done anything to deserve this city, but sure, go for it. This is why the Quick Deals mod is so good. It's like, would anyone like to buy any of this rubbish? And the king thinks about it and goes, yes. Yes, I'm just going to give you 1,300 gold. And you're like, cool. Yeah, come again. There's another bunch there. And you don't have to go around, like, people say, like, is this mod cheating? And, okay, it does make the game easier, but not easier in terms of making the game any more winnable. Like, the actual game itself is exactly the same as it's always been. It just means that you don't have to go around flicking everybody's 
individual trade screens, which which just makes the quality of life, it, it makes it easier to optimize. But you'd be playing the same game as you should be doing anyway, if you were playing well. So, you know, you could argue that either way, I think. Oh, the Royal Society's finally done. Good. God, I've been waiting a while for that to happen. Okay, right, bam. I can start to rush stuff now. Good, good, good. There's the Mars colony. Okay, we're finally getting this done. It's turn 200. I was really hoping to be able to do this before turn 200, but not going to be not going to be the case this time. Um, okay, scientists, I'm just not getting anyone decent here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I got two at once. Brilliant. Um, Tesla, let's pick up him. And then, oh, it's Alto after that. Nobody too exciting. Boo! Exoplanet. Seven turns. Let's just do a little bit of rushing. Six turns. Oh, suddenly I'm now at peace with Eleanor. Sure. Oh, it's a betrayal emergency. Oh, there is nothing like loads this, of people got on board with that. Okay. Capture Kyoto. I love the fact that Japan gets the grief for that. As if, like, they, you know, they were the ones that did something wrong. Like, I very much was the one that was just killing everybody. But sure. Kyoto, you say? Well, okay. Let's just, um, let's just do this. Do I have a unit? Oh, yes, look, I've got a little helicopter. A -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. It's so rare that I get Schrodinger. And he's always useless because he's always finished the game by that point. Sagan! Uh, that would have been useful like a bunch of turns ago. 130,000 gold to get him. I mean, that is one expensive grill. <laughs> what a smile. Can I rush this through? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Okay, we're getting there though. We're getting there. I think I might just go and take Kyoto. That's the betrayal emergency, isn't it? <laughs> Well, that's nice. Um, what do I get for this? If I if I win, I get a hundred favor. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that's okay. Oh, I actually get to keep it because it's loyal all of a sudden. Fair play. Surprisingly, Japan wants to concede. Yes, I will let you. I'm going to keep your capital as a sign of uh, this betrayal. This ultimate betrayal. Actually, I lie. I might give it to someone else. Oh, no, I can't because it's a capital, isn't it? So I have to keep it. Ah, uh, well. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It was it was worth it for the emergency. I enjoyed it for that. There's the Exoplanet Expedition, and this is where, hopefully, we can get a little bit crazy. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rush as many projects through at once because I would like to win as quickly as possible. We have what was it, five different spaceports, I think something like that. Um Novigrod was the first one. Now basically the trick is to swap all the tiles I can into this city, specifically the ones with woods on them. Uh, I'm then going to just abandon whatever I'm doing and then a Lagrange laser station, you say. Now this one actually is powered from local renewables. How much does a terrestrial take? A five, five power. Okay, I mean, that's, that's not that good. So we'll do a Lagrange station. In fact, actually, let's just go and see if anyone, anyone's selling aluminium. I'm probably not. Often the AI refuses to trade with me at this late stage of the game, which is fair. Yeah, okay, good. But what we're going to do is we're going to now chop down the woods. It's 600 to get one of these projects done. But because of all my modifiers, I should easily get these things punched into space nice and quickly. There's my first one. Same with this city. That's one chop and two. There's the terrestrial laser station done. This city is powered. Third city and the same deal. There's one going in. Fourth city, or my capital as we actually call it. That's the fourth one done. Look at this, we're getting an immediate rush on. I love it. And then my adopted capital can basically just fire one into the air every turn, which is great. This is always a really good card, by the way. Cities with a spaceport gain aluminium and power. Putting that in with my government, every city can power its own projects. There's another project into the sky. We are just boosting everything that we can get our hands on. Perfect stuff. In fact, actually, let's just make sure. Yep, that's all in the same city. That's good. Perfect, 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 perfect. Just keep chopping. Even more chopping in my capital now. I don't need... Why would I ever need forest, eh? Just get rid of it all. And another project there. Good, 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 good. And this is the second turn. We're already... It says I'm going five. But I think I'm going more than that already. Yeah, turn three. Already going ten light years per turn. It's not a bad little rush, that. I'm I'm pretty pretty proud of myself. 
turn four and I'm now going 17 light years per turn. Have I rushed this enough, do you think? Or do you think I should still keep going? I, th I think I think keep going. I think it's the only way we can be sure that we're going to win this because I, I think it's it's going to be a close run thing. Because watching this animation over and over and over again is entirely fun. For turn five, 20 light years per turn. Actually, if I can get another two light years rushed somehow, I think we can just make this work. Oh, that didn't quite do it. Okay, right, well, let's have a think about this. Uh, anything else I can be rushing? This city could do with a couple of rushes, so let's do that. One, and two, chopping down the entire forest. Just, oh no. I'm say so I can go to space, but yeah, that was a silly mistake. Actually, well, look, there's one. Um, it's not going to be enough. No, I'm going to have to wait a whole other turn. My min-maxing is terrible. Dear, oh dear. Oh, typically 47 light years. I think one of my stations, yeah, I just got a bunch more, but one of them ran out of power. I think, yeah, Novigrod. Oops, keep doing that. It's like, don't let them run out of power. Otherwise, there we go. You just, they stop doing anything useful. Never mind. What are you going to do? There you go. I think it's going to be a 210 science victory, which is pretty slow considering how much I got. But I'm, I'm very proud of my rush at the end of the game there. Like, I was generating, yeah, 23 light years per turn. I was winning the game in, like, three turns. That's awesome. But I think we did a good job. We very successfully expanded our borders. We restored the Mongol Empire, and I kind of had a little bit of fun just raiding after that point. I kept going into India's land and stealing loads of gold and science, and I did the same uh, with England. Actually, they just built steel walls. That's a shame. Because I, <laughs> so I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cities and all the encampments I'd completely destroyed and I was just running around. units in. Oh, science victory. Augustus Caesar, yeah, of course I did. Buildings constructed, cities captured, over 40. Um, cities founded. I think I actually built, yeah, like eight cities. Woohoo! Crazy days. My culture, I was winning after about three quarters of the game. Very late in the game. Science, much better, about two thirds of the way through the game. Um, where's my score? After almost just over half. So that's even better. Units killed. Oh, over like 140 units lost. How many did I lose? I can't even see my line. That My line is there. It should be there. I definitely like. Oh, hang on. It's, it, it is doing it. It's just doing it really slowly. Come on. Take it off. You gonna do that? Yep, good. And put it back on. Uh, no, I don't see it. Uh, you're just going to have to assume I lost no units. It's not true. I lost a lot of units. Um, okay. Let's have a little play of the map, shall we? Bam. Oh, TSL maps. There I was right at the start of the game. And look, by turn 10 already, the map is just an absolute cluster. But you can see China were a bit of a problem for me. They settled right towards me. Korea was settling towards me. What could I do? What was a poor Mongol horde to do? I just had to go and settle over there in the terrible no housing central territories actually to be honest with, with granaries and, and farms and things it's very possible to get away with it there we go Xi'an captured then I take two uh, cities China is out of the game I capture one of the three cities Vietnam actually takes that one which is really annoying me um, but then I attack and I take most of Korea to be fair um, pretty much all of Korea Oh, maybe. Did I actually take that Korean city by the end of the game? Duh. Who knows? I'm going to say I did for the purposes of this. <laughs> I probably didn't. Um, and you can see, yeah, so Japan is doing that. It's turn 120 and my horde really hasn't started. But there we go. There's the Scythian attack. Um, after that, I think I take Russia, followed by Poland, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And then I go after Germany and, yeah, just punch through Germany really quickly. Like so, and then I go after Greece, I believe, after that point. Is it Greece I go after? Yes, it is. Look at that. Bam, bam. Like so, Georgia folds. India will fold quite quickly. I'm now attacking into Vietnam at the same time. That punches them through. That's wonderful. Look at all that. Oh, what a beautiful empire. It's great. I, oh, I have to say, that mod just makes me smile. There what a horde! Like it. What an empire! What a, what a what a what a great thing! Um, I mean, mm, technically, I don't own this city. Was South Korea in the Mongol Empire? I actually don't know. I'm going to assume it probably was. So, 
Let's just, you know, so that nobody can say I don't take this seriously. Let me just quickly go and take that. Can I just say I'm so proud that England took Amsterdam? I'm so proud of you, England. Oh, so rare. You actually get to see the court of love act against you, the player. Anyway, look, there we go. I'm at war with Japan again. It's, it's happening. It's happening again. And curse bloosh. There we go. Now there can be no argument. No argument that I took everything. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trevor Daskby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Simon Beard, and Portland for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who comments and likes. Thank you.